welcome back. A couple of jobs on today, well not a couple, one. I'm not going to push myself. No point in trying to achieve too much. I need to clean the window actually, so there probably is two jobs. Because as you can see, I've got a big green patch there in the middle. Anyway, we'll do that later. Or tomorrow, I don't know. I'm going to have a bash at getting this new water tub in for my wastewater. So I'm going to cut the gas pipe here because that will be in the way. Massive bit of debate um, I had in my head over doing gas or not. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to leave the pipe in just in case I do change my mind. We'll see how we go this winter. But I want to upgrade the air source heat pump to a, a more economical one and a slightly bigger size. But I'll leave the gas the gas pipe dug in, ready to go. But I'll because uh, it's in the way, I'm just going to cut it off, take the end over so it don't get full of bits, and it'll be there just in case I do ever want to use it. So when I've done that, I'm just going to put a bit of shutter, dig this out a little bit more because that's quite a bit bigger than that. Shut this off, dig it out a bit to sink it a bit and then put a concrete pad in just to make sure it's level and then I can run the waste from there and get me a bit of guttering in as well for when it rains. Me down pipe, that's the word I was thinking of. So I've turned my trickling off but obviously we're still trickling out over the top so uh, I might just turn that boot round for now, or block. In fact, I might just block the overflow in there. A bit of tape. But I'll do that now, just to stop it dripping out when I'm trying to dig this bit out and then get me cement in. Should should be a relatively easy job. Messy, because I'm going to need to get my mixer out and uh, start getting a uh, a mix on the go, but. It takes all day, it takes all day. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. And then, at some point very soon, I'm going to have another bash of doing this and I'm feeling, uh, feeling strong. So I need to get all this dug out here and then get some more concrete laid here. I might actually, as soon as I've got to get the mixer out, Get this sorted down here first. Dug out, levelled and shuttering in. Then dig this out and then I've only got a, once I've got the mixer out, that's probably the best way of doing it. I haven't then got to clean it up and put it away. And then get it back out again and mess it up and then clean it up again and put it away. Might as well do one mix for everything. And then I'm only cleaning the machine once. We're wearing away here at the minute. Temperature wise, I think about 21. Probably not even going to be able to see that. But yeah, 21 degrees, it's just topping up. Right, anyway. Complete again, look, just come straight back. So, let's block this overflow up. Get that old waste moved. Yeah, that's just over the top. And the tape's going to sit on that. Probably put. Oh, work something out. I'll be back in a bit when I've worked it out. I'm smiling. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm smiling, but that was graft. Oh, so, even though when I measured the bin, you know where this is going, it did fit. But. The concrete post, obviously being a post, and the hole that you dig to set the concrete for said post, that was in the way. So I had to chuffle out that to squeeze it in. But we got there. So it's just surrounded by a concrete path, bed, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to use this soil to level out here, and then I can cover all of this bit. With just 
some of this from over there because obviously that will be going. But nearly broke me that did. Because obviously the sun then came out, cooked me. So I'm just going to tidy up and that's me done for the day now. <coughs> did have a couple of accidents. I haven't got a stand for me cement mixer so I've got it on there well it tipped over so spilt half a load out there and then wheeling some sand sand through from out the front yep for some reason it just tipped over Mr Clumsy but everything's back on I'll turn the shower right down to uh, stop the drum from cleaning very much it hasn't actually cleaned in a couple of hours because I turned the shower right down so it's all back, it's all back to foaming now. So we're back at 100%. Need to remember to unbodge the overflow and turn the trickling back on. That is now leaking like an absolute trooper because it's off. So. I need to get on when I get inside. I need to get on that straight away and order it. Oh, right. Anyway, I'm gonna put this down, tidy up, go inside for a cup of tea. I deserve it. It's hard today. Catch you later. So we're in the garden, causing a mess, as I do. We talk about all of this stuff another time. Anyway. auto feeder I've done a bit of a, an unboxing review kind of video you may have seen that you may not have I can't remember when I'm getting it out anyway so it's this one JBL one so all the fish do now is and this is temporary by the way I'm not sure how or where I'm gonna permanently site it but for the time being it's here the fish literally, oh that's why there's a couple of pellets there look, but they are literally just hanging around at the bottom, it's going off every other hour at the moment, 50 grams of food. They are just literally living here like that. It's hilarious. In fact it's due to go off in a few minutes, so maybe they know. Uh, but it's only been on there since yesterday. So the plan was to use this one, thanks to Kevin, you know you are, who sent me that. Um, I can't get it to work. It did turn on initially, uh, and then flashed and whatever else. Then I left it for a bit and went back to it, and it just wasn't doing anything. So, uh, in fact, what I'm gonna, I think what I'll do with that, if anybody wants to have a tinker with it to see if they can get it to work, you're more than welcome to it. Drop me an email. Uh, first come first served or if there's a lot of people I'll pull your name out of the hat chuck me a couple of quid for postage and then I'll get it out to you but because I couldn't get that to work as I say I went mental and bought one of these uh, yeah <laughs> a few reasons one means you can feed the fish a lot more rather than the three probably three maybe four feeds a day that they were getting they're now getting nine so it keeps it a bit more consistent with the feed going in. Well, they didn't yesterday, it was out all day, so they only got fed in the morning, and then they fed when I got back later on in early evening. So they only got two feeds. So it sprays the food out, as you've seen anyway. It will spray the food out over the surface of the pond, which keeps a lot of the pellets here because of the bottom drain air and it pushes a few up this way. I did have it sighted over there. I didn't like it because there wasn't quite enough space and it meant it was hanging off the edge. I had, did have it here. Again, similar to that side. I didn't want to ping it the food that way because obviously the skimmer's drawing in that way. So I think it's probably going to live down this side somewhere, but whether or not it lives there like that permanently, I don't know, but we'll see. But it's functional and uh, doing a good job. It doesn't need to be plugged in either, 
because it's got a solar panel top although there is an option to plug it in you do get the cable and the battery is still on three bars out of the four so that's good so it's due to go off at two what's the time on that now five more minutes five more minutes kids before your dinner but you can't wait look so that's basically all they're doing now I think they think if they go a bit crazy over here food will come out but no so yeah happy with it expensive yes and the biggest downside to it at the minute that I can see one the size of it, it's probably a bit too big for a lot of pond tops because bearing in mind that the copings that I've got on here are 300 which is a standard kind of size that's way bigger than that well it's not way bigger but it sort of perches on the edge as you can see here so it sort of hangs off the back and the front the front and the back whichever way around and I've put it just on the bit of wood to get it in the corner like that but again I don't know where it's going to live there and the second thing that annoys me a bit about it or is it a negative how noisy is it it's very noisy but other than that it's doing its job And they probably think I'm teasing them. Now I've come over, they think I'm going to chuck some food in, but I'm not. But yeah, happy with it. Apart from them two things. Right, since it's going to go off in a minute, I'll hang around and we'll see it working. It wasn't actually due to go off at one, it was due to go off at two, sorry, it didn't, wasn't due to go off now, which is two, it was due to go off at one. So there's a manual feed button there, which I pushed, which puts out 15 grams of food. Weirdly, because they've been fed more regular, it just seems they're more hungry, if that's possible. So yeah, as you saw, it's quite noisy. That's the biggest thing about it, because obviously when you're sitting in the house, and if your pond's near the house, it just make a right racket, especially because it's warm, you've got windows open. But anyway, it's functional, it's doing its job. Apart from it's a beast. So yeah, there we go. Just thought I'd show you that. So yeah, if you're interested in that, pop me an email. Send me some posters, I don't know what it'll be to post, probably 10 quid, because it's in a big box. And then uh, you can have it, fix it, tinker with it. It might even work if you know what you're doing. I didn't have a clue. Well, the, when the, uh, the screen came on, I didn't have a clue, then the screen wouldn't work, so. But there we go. Drop me an email. If I get lots of people on it, I'll just pull, pull a name out of a hat. Right, anyway, so I'm going back to my gardening. couple of weeks off of work so I'm going to try and do some of this over here so I'm spending today weeding getting rid of all this rubbish nearly swore then this bind weed is an absolute bind I want to try and get some of these sleepers in and also I want to try and I've got an absolute mountain of stuff to get rid of so you're going to see at some point very soon, not just yet, so don't email me now. I've got an absolute mountain of things to get rid of and sell. So I'm going to do a massive list of what I've got to go. 
excuse the washing it rained earlier so it's got to stay a bit longer I've got pipe work coming out my ears I've got tubs I've got an absolute mountain of K1 I think I've got about 300 litres pipes spare pipes some odd rubber boots ball valves so watch this space you will see a massive uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it whether I'll do a little video like that uh, I don't know but just keep your eye out if there's anything you've if you think you've seen at mine, pond related, not anything else like fish or whatever, then uh, keep your eye out. As I say, in the next week or two, I'm going to get a video out, probably a video, and just get everything listed. Because I need the space back now. It's getting a bit depressing out here because everyone's so messy. So I'm having a bit of a tidy up. Anyway, back to it. Lucky me. Everyone loves a fire. Just give me all of that. God, it's carnage. I know you all love that word. Get rid of a lot of that. Two trips to the tip already. Anyway, I'm just about to go inside. I've just been fiddling with my new toy feeder. I've now said it from 7 a.m. 11 p.m. So what's that? 9, 7, 9, 11, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Nine feeds a day. 50 grams of food a day roughly. I'll need to keep an army water parameters because there's a little bit more than I was feeding. But the fish are just smashing the 50 grams that I'm putting in. Like literally look at them I can put a feed in and they're just smashing it so I'm now thinking I'm going to tick along at that for the next month and then maybe September October see if I can get it a bit higher just to see what the pond and the filtration can handle and to see if it makes a difference with the fish now I'm actually feeding wheat germ still, the multi-season wheat germ. I'm not sure why I decided to do that. I think purely because new pond, I don't want to smash it too hard, but now I've bought an auto feed, I'm trying to smash it. So I'm sort of going against what I said, but that's where my thinking is. So I'm going to check my water parameters tomorrow because no doubt they're not going to be off the scale but no doubt they need to catch up now. But it should mean that the fish are getting the same or very similar amount of food per day administered to them. It should mean my water parameters are more stable and there'll be no fluctuations because if I'm around, like we all do, if you're out and about near the pond, what do you do? You've got a handful of food. You chuck it in and you probably do like today I've been out here I've even come over and pushed the manual button a couple of times and I've had a couple of small little extra bits I just did it in fact so um, yeah be interesting to see if there's any difference and with the fish and all the water quality so anyway it's getting near that time where I can push the light on it's not quite dark enough yet Right, I'm going to tidy up my junk and I'm going inside. And again, I might sit and contemplate life sitting by the fire, wondering why I've spent a million and one pounds on a koi pond. Hey ho, catch you later.